this is how much I got just from her. This one. Here. Oh no. Pick up. Oh, poor baby. Wow. So I opened the door and Kira's like, I'm stuck. And I'm just like, whatever. I thought she was just saying she's stuck because of her mermaid. So I'm <laughs> sitting there changing Mia's diaper. And then I finally get to her and she's literally stuck on her pillow because she slept with her gooey, the, the silly putty. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to take this out of her hair. No, I think I'm gonna have to cut her hair. It is really... But it's everywhere. You look like you have dreadlocks. Okay, there has to be like remedies I could find on Google or something. This is bad. Oh my gosh, curse you, putty. It's mommy's fault. I shouldn't get you guys that kind of toy. Please don't come, mommy, Don't come this hair. I might have to cut your hair. This don't. This part. Not that part, only this part. Don't cut my face. I won't cut your face. <laughs> no, this is how much I got just from this her. One. Here. Oh no. Take up. Oh, poor baby. Take up. I might not even have to cut at all because it's coming off. And I'm sure if I could Don't cut this maybe pole. put some olive oil. Don't cut this pole. Don't worry, I won't cut it. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Who knows if I could even take it off of here too. That is bad. sweet. Oh, silly putty. I'm sure there's like stuff on YouTube too. Here's how to get silly putty out of clothing. So this is a great example. It has been said that rubbing alcohol will take out silly putty. So let's give it a shot. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's breaking it down. It Check it out. A little peanut butter. Okay. Mommy, can you get us a cone? Okay, there is there yeah. some peanut butter. Water method. So the water was taking forever, so I'm going to add a little bit of baby oil. Conclusion, if your kid gets silly putty stuck in their hair, use baby oil. There you go. Oh my goodness, nice and moisturized. It smells, it smells boobies. Yeah, it's actually strawberries. Okay guys, I just received the package from Longcomb. I literally just opened it up 30 seconds ago. And they sent me the treasure perfume the body cream and uh is this a roller ball oh it's a spray the mini spray and i think these are face masks i wasn't aware of this but you're not allowed to ship perfume um overseas a few weeks ago i packed my perfume in the box to send back home because i didn't want to bring it on the airplane. So basically they confiscated the perfume and I haven't had it since then, so it's been about a month. And then I received this from Longcomb. They said, we're thrilled to see Treasure included in your June favorites video. Um, enclosed, please find some additional products from the Treasure collection. How ironic is that, that I, that it was just taken from me like a few weeks ago. But anyway, thanks Longcomb. And now I have the body cream. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Oh, is this the original scent? For some reason it smells a little different. It smells good, but different. I want to get it on my fingers. Oh, that smells good. It really is a sensual scent. It's not something I'd wear during the day, but Oh, it smells nice. Amazing. 
And you look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I love my beautiful wife cooking lunch for me. Right after working out, having a delicious lunch like that is amazing. Girls, are you going to run like daddy when you're older? Yeah. Or well, actually, you already run. You guys are so fast. Holy moly, she just finished her second bowl. Are you going to eat those potatoes? Yeah. The bunny, her hair is still super oily. It is not easy removing baby oil. I'm thinking I'd have to wash her hair two more times to get rid of that oil completely. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're about to film a Q&A video with Mia and Kara, so that'll be fun. I'm trying to get a list of questions to see if they'll answer. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but that's going to go up on my mommy channel. If you're not yet subscribed to my mommy channel, the link is down below. It's called It's Mommy's Life. Congrats on 50K! Woo! Whoa! Magic Mike celebration style? Mommy, All right, guys. Mommy, huh? going home. You gonna go home now? Okay, yeah. bye, mommy. You got your lash container and your doggy. Bye. Kira. Over here, Kira. Hey, We're doing a celebration video today. Hey, what's going on? Auntie Sharon, I want to do this little tour for you. This is dedicated to you because you've been so open about your farm and uh, letting me visit. So I want to show you what I've got. It's not as big as a farm, but it's still pretty cool. First, we've got my tomato plants. Look, there's four of them right next to each other. This one is, I think, beefsteak uh, tomatoes, and these are gonna be ripening soon. Whole bunch off of this. Look at all these tomatoes. And then these are my uh, orange ones. I don't know what they're called. Um, I know this looks like it's a little dead, but the farther you go up, man, look at these. There's still more to come. Look at this, all this. Actually, um, there were like probably like seven or eight strands just right there, and those are the sweet 100s. I've got my basil here. Look at this parsley plant. Herbs grow really well, and right back there, there's some chives that I use for omelets. These are my vine plants. This one did fairly well. You have to be careful with vines because they could uh, they could uh, be a little evasive. This vine plant did really well. Grew all the way up my arbor. I've been kind of like guiding it through the arbor a little bit and uh, hopefully by next year it's all the way across. This is my little maple tree. I love these trees. Got plenty of flowers. Blueberry um, plant didn't do so well this year because I didn't leave it in the sun, but uh, I think they're, you know what? Animals probably ate it. There was an animal in my backyard. You gotta be careful for animals. Anyways, uh, another basil plant. There was cilantro here, but it kind of died. And I know, again, this tomato plant looks kind of funky, but I'm getting a lot of fruit off of it. Um, I think it's a normal thing for like the bottom layers to die off. Look at this. Oh yeah, that's good. Those are good. Well, last night, I made a salsa out of the pepper from the backyard, tomatoes from the backyard. Unfortunately, no cilantro, but it was literally the best pico de gallo I've ever made. Judy was the one that said that. Of course, this is that random plant that I just let do whatever it wants to do and it's growing so many tomatoes. I probably should pick a lot of those, but I just let this thing just do its thing. I don't even water this thing, just FYI. This is my grapevine, which is also doing pretty well. In a few years, I should have actual grapes growing from it, um, but right now it's just uh, vining up this arbor as well. And then last but not least, I got my bamboo. Oh yeah, it's not the last, but oh yeah, <laughs> forgot. Got my mint here, which is doing really well. These ones are getting discolored, but look at this. After these ones kind of died off, they just came back. Fresh new ones. This is a pineapple mint right here. This is, I believe, a chocolate mint. More flowers over here. Flowers over here. Flowers over here. And then more flowers. These ones did way better when it was more sunny. And then this is my fuchsia, which did really well. Hi, we just finished filming. Doggy. And I hope it turned out well because it was kind of at a weird angle. Oh, mommy. Oh, totally missed. Bye, bye, hey, come bye, here, please. Come to watch. Green watch. You're gonna watch? Yeah. What are you gonna watch? watch. What are you gonna watch? My doggy. Bye. My doggy. Ooh, my doggy. My doggy. <laughs> Mommy, I ate one, so candy, you have one? 
Okay, then they well, can have one. Then well, I can supply. Mommy, wow. Yeah, only you get one. Hey, oh. <laughs> Yay, what can you say? What can you say? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Why don't you tell Ate Juliana what happened to your hair? What happened to your hair? No, no, what happened to your hair this morning with a silly putty? What happened to silly putty in your head? No, Kira. I guess what happened with Kira? What? She got silly putty stuck in her hair. Oh. And it was so sticky, her head was glued to the pillow. What? But, but, but what? remember I called my what? phone and and I said, Mommy, do you need help? Mm hmm That's what I said in my phone. Yeah. Booty pa maliit eh, oh, oh. Hold it. Hey, guys, hey! Oh, no, you watered the plants, guys, like this. You want to water the plants? When we got here, Juliana was so excited to see her sister. She gave them big hugs. It was very nice of you. Yeah. You get that. All right. You stand right there and then I'm going to make my TV. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. 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 Come Hold on, let me get your bibs. Sisters. I have to go with Mama. <laughs> Mia and Kira did not want to come home, so I said they could nap at Mama's house. And yes, and what? I wrote this in school. And you what? Rolled in school. You wrote to school. Yeah, I rolled there. You rolled. You enrolled in school. Yeah. Yeah, you start on Monday. Yup. No. Always cleaning up rice off the floor. Is it good? Mommy, look, mommy. What is it? Ooh, thumbs up. Watching Benji live right now. Him and Sean is crazy. I didn't even know it was possible, but they're streaming live from different locations. So Sean, you know, Benji's in his office and Sean's in Vegas. Yes, what's the first? of the four C's. There's five C's, so we're going to recap them for you. Well, we're going to go to our very first parent orientation. Asian pair. Are you excited for school? Yes, I... Yeah, she's excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I was, like I felt so giddy at the orientation. Tomorrow, Juliana gets to meet all her classmates and the teacher. Oh, be so I'm so excited! I know it's just pre-K, but still. <laughs> Are you still tired? You look a little tired. JB, you didn't ask.
What's that sound? Mia. It's Mia. It's Mia. Mia, what are you doing?